So these pieces are a little bit complicated. Um, they started out as a laminated board like this, uh, then cut in half and then ripped and resawn for one piece. And the reason for that is that these are supposed to look like when the uh, when the armor is closed, it'll look like it's a continuous piece of wood uh, down the side. Uh, but actually, the the front piece here will form part of the door, and so we'll open up like this. So I can show this quickly on a diagram. Looking at the side of the cabinet, and a typical cabinet side, going to have a frame piece like this, frame across the top, frame across the bottom like that, and then a divider down the middle and two panels. So that's a typical side uh, side of a cabinet. What I actually want though is down in the middle here for this to be hinged so that uh, the actual side of the cabinet can open up and the front doors will come off like this and they'll also open up in a sort of concertina effect. And so what this means is that these components here need to be thick there, part of the frame, whereas these components, which need to look as if they're all one piece of wood, will actually be thinner and will be part of the door frame. And so that's what we see here. The thicker piece will come at the back of the cabinet, the thinner piece coming along the bottom of the door there. So now what I need to do is add some uh, joinery to these pieces. So it's all going to be uh, mortise and tenon. So I need to add a tenon on the end of this thicker piece here at the back and a tenon on the end of the thinner piece at the front. And I do that uh, using the crosscut sled. Well, there's some construction going on at the moment, so uh, hopefully this audio works out okay. Uh, so these pieces are uh, a little over an inch and five eighths uh, thick. So I'm going to aim to uh, to have the tenon uh, just a little bit over half an inch thick. And, uh, Three inches, so I'll take half an inch off the sides as well. So uh, what that means is I can set the set the height of the blade to uh, about half an inch, half an inch above the sled. Let's see how that works. I've already used a uh, a test piece to set the length of the tenon which um, which is going to be three quarters of an inch and I've marked on these pieces where I'm going to uh, put the tenon because uh, they're mirror images of each other So now I've reset the uh, reset the guide block and the the blade height to uh, and use my test piece again to uh, to cut off the the excess.
crisp tenor.